Hey guys, welcome back to Suitcase Princess. My name is Shauna. If you're new here, we are a homeschooling family of four who loves to encourage you to take the kids and get out. We come here and we share our corner of Texas and beyond and we are avid Disney lovers. So I thought it would be really fun today to talk with you about Disney park etiquette. Guys, before we go any further, please scroll down, hit the big red subscribe button, turn on the bell for notifications, and give this video a thumbs up. As always, you can find me down in the comments or over on Instagram at Suitcase Princess. I came prepared today. So I got this idea for a video because I keep, you know, Disney groups here and there, people keep asking, is this okay? Is this okay? Is this frowned upon? Is this okay? We do this at other places. Is this okay? And I thought it would be really fun to just run through like Disney parks etiquette and I have given myself kind of like a bulletproof framework for this video but I'm trying really hard to not script it too much because I want it to be first of all the things that really do come to mind first not every nitpicky thing but I also want it to be like kind of real and passionate as somebody who's done spent a lot of time in Disney parks with their young family I think that it's really important that it comes from like a place of like genuine seriousness if that makes sense and scripting that out too much sometimes just kind of takes away from that so guys i hope that you uh do enjoy this video let me know right on down in the comments if you have anything that you'd like to add because again i've got like a whole like a bullet point so i hope that it makes sense um if you've got something that i missed i there's always going to be more right there's always going to be more so i tried to kind of like map it out in terms of like when I go on a Disney vacation, the first thing I do is planning, right? So let's talk about Disney etiquette planning. First of all, people feel really passionately about Disney vacations that they both have and have not taken. I've gotten a lot of feedback from people who have not even taken a Disney vacation about the Disney vacation that I should be taking. So when it comes to planning, the, the most courteous and, and best thing that you can do when it comes to planning is do your research. Do your research and make the decisions that are right for your family. And I'm not, I, I come here, I plan my own vacations, but sometimes that is hiring a TA. So if you need to hire a travel agent, if you're gonna feel better hiring a travel agent, by all means do that. So the first thing that you need to do for Disney Parks Etiquette is do your research in your planning. It's gonna make a huge difference in your vacation. So you're doing this now, you're laying a good foundation so that on your vacation, we can be, have a little bit better hold on things, okay? So something else that you need to do um, once you have arrived, let's talk about arrival, okay? So you can either drive in or um, the way that you can be particularly courteous when you are flying in is to be patient with the people who are helping you. So we're talking about flight attendants, uh, making sure you're prepared if you're going on a flight, make, make sure that you are prepared to have your child on a flight. You've got snacks, you've got entertainment. Make sure that you are prepared when you get there, if you need a car seat, things like that. So those are ways that you can definitely kind of up that, uh, that etiquette a bit if you are prepared. Let's talk about uh, transportation etiquette. So there's a few things. This is always a really big hot button for me. We almost always, stay in a resort on property that has bus service, okay? So, but this applies to any any resort you could stay at on property, or even if you're staying off property and they have like a shuttle. First of all, be kind to the people who are getting you there, okay? They have to deal with a lot of people all day, every day. It is also really important that you know what's expected of you for this transportation. So, if you are, for example, staying off property and you have to like reserve a shuttle, you need to do that. You can hear my vacuum right there. You need to be sure that you're prepared by reserving your shuttle. If you are standing in line for a bus, let me tell you right now, the bus, you need to fold your stroller to get it on the bus. So one of the things that we like to do is we just take a big reusable bag and anything we put in the basket underneath, we actually put in that bag. Then we can pull the bag out, fold the stroller. Please don't be the people who get up to the bus, to the little choop choop, and then you're like, what do you mean I have to fold the stroller? And then it takes you 45 minutes to unload everything and get the stroller folded. Don't really pack into your stroller until you're at the parks. It's gonna make an absolutely huge difference and it's gonna be really courteous to everyone behind you. Another thing, once you're getting your stroller on the bus, you need to pull it to the side so people can get past you if you're not going all the way up. You need to go all the way up. Go to the back, 
go all the way to the back of the bus, fill in as much as you can from the back to the front. If you see an elderly person who needs to sit, let them sit. If you see a woman holding a baby, let them sit. If you see a man holding a baby, let them sit. If you do not need your hiney, your keister in the seat, get up, let them sit, okay? Same thing goes with a family traveling with young kids. It's a lot harder for young kids to stand, okay, than it is for you to be able to reach everything. So get up and let those people who need a seat have a seat. Um, also, let me just tell you, don't complain when a person in a scooter comes up and they load the scooter first, okay? Everybody deserves to have a good time, so it is not on you to be kind of a rude jerk face when other people are are, are being accommodated in the manner that's gonna allow them to have a great vacation. That is not your business, you're having a great time. Take that time to unload your stroller, okay? Okay. And then when you go to get off of the bus or monorail or, and you don't always have to fold it. I think the monorail and the Skyliner, please correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure that you do not actually have to fold your stroller to get in and off of those things. Um, but guys, whenever you get off, do you know what you could do? And it makes absolute world of difference. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for getting me here. Thank you for letting me start my vacation. Thank you. Thank you to whoever is there. Also, be kind to the other people around you. If you see that they need help, help them. Help them. Give a parent an extra set of hands. I'm going to say this a lot because people have been kind to me. Help other people. If you see that, that they need assistance getting on, help them out, okay? Give them some assistance. If you, they don't know how to fold their stroller, if they need one more set of hands, if you need to hold their coffee while they fold their stroller, be kind to people, be kind. Okay, so parks, parks, parks. This is gonna be the lengthy part of this. Okay, we're already at six minutes. Ooh, settle in, folks. Okay, so when you get to the parks, um, the first thing that people wanna do when they get off of the transportation is stop to get themselves put back together before they start walking again. Please don't do that. Please don't do that. Please don't do that, okay? Never, ever should you be walking in a walkway and stop. You will get rear-ended. Don't do it. You know what you need to do? Pull over. That's it, guys. It's that simple. Pull over. Just like if you were in a car, you would not slam on your brakes in the middle of the highway. You pull off. Pull off to the side. Pull off to the side if you were going to stop. What do you do? You don't stop. You pull off. Okay, that is it. It is really that simple to avoid getting smacked in the back with a group behind you, to avoid getting run over with your uh, the stroller that's coming inevitably right behind you. Just pull off. That's it. It's so simple. Please do not full on hard stop right in the middle of a walkway. I don't care what's happening, pull over. You will get run over, your kids will get run over and the people behind you will hate you. Please don't do that. Okay, so here we go. There's so many. Uh, let's see, parks, 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 parks. There is almost always another line, okay? So when you are walking up to the turnstile, there's always gonna be one that's like, or security, whatever it is. There's one that's really busy, there's one that's not. Go to the one that's not. But if you're in the one that's really busy, don't get mad at the people for going into the one that's not because you chose to be in this line. This happens a lot, okay? And we're gonna circle back on it when we talk about dining too. There's almost always another line. Same thing happens. There's a lot of ride queues that split and it is not necessarily very clear that you can go both directions because I, I have been guilty of it. We go up and there's like a split and there's like a long line on one side. So people, we think that we are supposed to get in line behind these people. There's a wide open path the other way. You're watching people jettison to the front of the line. It is not their fault you stood in this line. It is not their fault that you are a lemming and you followed everyone right in front of you. If there is an opportunity to do that, do that. It is not line jumping. It is not line cutting. It is taking the other way. That's it. It's as simple as that. And you would be shocked at the number of people who don't simply just go left. Just go left. Another thing, guys, do not run. You are not getting anywhere any faster. The cast members will yell at you. They will hate you. Take your time. And again, again, Thank you. Thank you, kind people who are helping me. Thank you. It really is that simple. Thank you, okay? Don't get mad at the people if they don't let you in because your stroller's too big. Don't get mad at the people if they are following the rules and doing their job and you didn't adhere to the rules or you didn't bother to look into what the rules were. So be smart, make everybody's job a little easier and be kind when you're going into the parks. Security, let's talk about that for a minute. First of all, Security has gotten so much easier. Um, but if you are going up there and you can tell that they're searching bags, go ahead, here's what I do. I take my turtle shell, I make it a big bear belly, and I start unzipping all the pockets. If there's bags in bags, I pull those bags out and unzip them. I have them ready so that when I go up there, they don't have to do that for me. They just boop, boop, boop. Thank you, have a great day. And then I can zip, 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 and head on my merry way. 
If you are going up to security, be prepared for them. Don't expect them to do all that work for you. They're not doing that for, you know, 50,000 guests every day. Do your part, make everybody's job a little faster. You're gonna get through a little, so much faster. You'll get through so much faster and they will like you. And again, thank you so much for doing your job today, kind sir or madam. I appreciate you. If you get flagged for extra security, don't be a jerk face. Step to the side, follow all of their prompts. They, they want to get you through as fast as possible, but they also wanna keep you safe. So do your part to help them do their job more efficiently and more effectively, okay? It is on you as well. All right, let's talk about ride etiquette. Ride etiquette, again, a lot of times there's more than one ride, okay? Here's what we're not gonna do. We are not going to get mad at the cast members if they do something that you don't think is the way it should be done. We are not going to stand in the standby lane and complain really loudly about all those people in the lightning lane line, okay? We're not gonna do that either. You have an every opportunity, all the same opportunities for those people in the lightning lane, that's, a, you know, it's okay. We aren't gonna get mad that the cast members don't let our whole family, even though only two of us are allowed to actually get on the ride, go in the line together. That's not how it works. They don't even let you get in the queue if everybody doesn't meet the requirements. You check with those people outside. We are not going to try to squeeze our kids through who actually aren't tall enough. We're not going to encourage them to be lifted. We're not going to carry them and pretend like they're not going to notice that they're too short. We are not going to stand on our tippy toes. We are not going to be ugly. We are not going to be unkind. We are going to say thank you for helping us out because we are good and kind and courteous people when we are out in the wild. Yes, we are. Another thing that I absolutely can't stand is when it comes to being in the parks and on the rides, uh, there's always a lot of talk about like those stroller wagons and people get so mad that other people have the stroller wagons and they don't get to have the stroller wagons. People who have a stroller wagons have been medically approved for some reason that is absolutely none of your business to have the stroller wagons. If people have the stroller wagons, they are not getting some weird and amazing privilege that you don't have. There is a need there and you should be thankful you do not have that need, okay? We are not gonna be bitter about the stroller wagons. We are gonna move along. We also do not wanna be mowed down by the stroller wagons. So we appreciate that not every fool who's allowed to push a stroller can push one of those stroller wagons because honestly, the bigger the weight, the heavier they slam into you and they will slam into you. If someone slams into you, you just give them the this. You do not have to make a thing. You do not have to get into a fight. We are not going to yell at people. We are not going to be ugly. We are not going to have personal conversations loudly with curse words when we are in a Disney park. Why? Because then our children learn new words courtesy of the people who are having an absolute fit in the parks. And guys, let me just tell you, the people having the fit in the parks is not the kids. Mm -mm. It's the adults. The adults turn up and start acting a fool. Why? Because just like the children, they are tired, they are cranky, they have spent a lot of money, it is hot, it is always hot, it is always hot. They have walked too long and you have gone way past the time to eat or drink. So keep in mind that it is not just the children having meltdowns, it is a frequently, honestly, more often in my experience, the adults having an absolute loss of their mind, loss of control. Guys, all I'm saying is that make sure that you've shown up with your best behavior. You're going to model that to your children and not be the people who make it on the local news because you had an absolute conniption at Disney. Just remember that everybody is operating like on a 10. Okay, so let's move on to food and dining. Here's the deal. I understand that seats are great. You are more than welcome to go claim a table while somebody is getting the food. But if you have no food, please free up those tables for people who are eating the food. Okay, so if I need to eat my food, I need a place to sit. So if you are just hanging out, please move along. Please find a bench. Please find a grassy knoll. Please do not take up a whole table just because you want to sit. It's for eating. Uh, keep in mind mobile order. Mobile order is fantastic. If you use it, you go in. There's actually a different place to go to. So you can go over there, but you don't need to go over there until they tell you your food is ready. Okay. So check in on the app, do all the things on the app and then go there when your food is ready. Okay. So there's no reason to get feisty or go harass them unless they've told you that your food is ready. There's also no reason if you are standing in the line to order to get mad that other people are coming up and getting their food and you're like, what is happening? They just got here. It's because they mobile ordered on the app. Okay. Okay. Also, when you come up, 
this most quick service locations are like this. So I'm just going to give you a little school here because I have had somebody rip my face off. I'll tell you that in a minute. In a minute. Okay. Okay. So you come up and there is a person behind a kiosk and they're waiting to take your order. You come up to them. They are taking orders on both sides, both sides. So they will take this person's order. Then they will turn and take this person's order. And both of them go right behind them to the counter to get their food and roll out. Don't stand in the way of the people rolling out with the giant trays of food, guys. Give me a break. Move yourself, okay? Move yourself. And also, it doesn't take all 16 people in your party to get the food and the little, that's a whole other thing, but just get out of the way. If I have a giant tray of drinks that they don't have lids on anymore, get out of my way, okay? Okay, so gracious. Thank you. Anyways, so you're coming up, you're ordering on both sides, right? There was, we were at we were Restaurant Tesaurus in Animal Kingdom, I remember. So coming up and there was a whole line of people on the side waiting to order. So I walk up to the other side because it operates on both sides. And so she goes here and then she goes here. This man ripped me a new one for line cutting. He was so mad. He was so angry. And do you know what? I was like, if it may, go ahead, go ahead. I'm in no hurry. I completely diffuse the situation. And then the cast member was like, you were awesome. You were amazing. I super appreciate you and give me a free dessert. So just be kind. And if you're kind, cast members will notice. They will appreciate you and they will reward you because they appreciate that most people are operating on like a level that is unhealthy. And so if you are doing your best to make their job a little easier, they will appreciate you. And now I realize I need to circle back. When you are on rides, look at me. If the person is riding the ride, the person needs to wait in the line. Yeah, they do not, we do not like people in the line, cast members, no one. It is not fair for granny to go wait in line, uh, a line that's like three or four hours long for her group of 20 people to roll up right before you get on the ride. That is not how it goes. If you need to get out of line to go to the bathroom, you need to get out of line, take a kid to the bathroom, people will let you back in. Everyone understands, it is fine. But you don't do the line saving. You don't do the line waiting for a larger group of people. That is not fly at Disney. It really doesn't. It's actually in their terms that you should not do that because you could get kicked out. Like for real, for real, don't do that. And I'm not talking about rider swap, that's a whole other thing. I am not talking about we're all in line, someone needs to leave or something, come right back. No, what I'm talking about is the one person waits, everyone else goes and lives their four hours of great Disney life instead of waiting in line. If you wanna ride it, you gotta wait for it. Okay, it's just a thing. It just is a thing, that's how it works. Okay, so we've covered dining. Again, get out of my way if I have a giant tray of stuff because usually like we'll set the kids and get the, it's like a whole thing, just get out of the way, just get out of the way. Okay, and move out, okay? Because what happens is like mom goes up and then like husband and all the kids and everybody's like there, but I can't get out with my tray. Please make us space. Okay, waiting in line for bathrooms. First of all, leave the bathroom um, as clean as you possibly can when you go out, because these things, I mean, all the time, all the time. If there is a line, Uh, to get into the restroom. If you see a kid is like doing this thing, let them go. If you can all let them go when they're doing this thing, cause they need to go. Nobody wants to have wet pants on this situation, okay? Um, in shopping, when you go shopping, it is hard. Everything is at kid level, they wanna touch everything. That's fine. Just put it back. Just be nice to the cast members and put it back. That's it. That's all you have to do. Don't let them drop it on the ground. Uh, just just put it back. It, it Just wait your turn and put it back. That's, so simple. It really is so simple. Uh, also, if you can avoid taking your mega strollers into the super pack stores, I mean, that would be great. Or when you go into things, like if it's raining, it, everything gets really wet. So just do your best to be kind to these poor people who are working there to make your day magical. Okay, for entertainment. Okay, so fireworks shows the whole nine yards. One, you don't need to get there like six hours early, but don't get there real late and then be mad you don't get a great seat. Don't talk through the show. Don't do the, don't be the guy who holds up the iPad to film the whole thing. Don't be, there's no reason. Guys, you can Google it. It's on the internet. You don't need to do that. We do not need to do that, okay? We do not need to film the whole thing. We do not. What else we do not need to do? They will make you stand up. I, I, they just do. It's a safety hazard. It's a safety issue. Don't stop in the middle of walkways. They tell you right where you can and cannot go. They tape it off for the fireworks. They mean business. Listen to the cast members, but simultaneously, don't be the, the rude people who come and stand right in front of a kid. Let the kid stand in front of you. Like for the parade, if I am this tall and there is a child who is this tall standing behind me, that's a problem. They can get in front of me, I can still see. I'm still having a great experience. Keep your kids on the sidewalk for those parades. They will have to stop the parade so that they don't squish little Jenny or Johnny and make them a giant smush on the sidewalk, okay? So keep them on the sidewalks. 
Uh, let's see. Wait in line, be courteous. Uh, most shows and things you can actually eat in, especially like Fantasmic, fireworks, all of that. Go where you're supposed to, don't block kids. Try not to put the kids on your shoulders if you can because it does really genuinely block everybody behind you. And they don't usually need that much. Fireworks are up there, they are not down here. So as long as you don't have a giant Neanderthal standing in front of you, you're gonna be okay because you're, again, kid up there, not down here. So it should be totally fine. Um, something else that we've done is actually have our kids stand in the stroller and hold on to them because they're not any taller than we are at that point, but it does give them just a little boost. Um, let's see. Don't squeeze in last minute and get in front of people. God, oh, that rubs me the wrong way, guys. We here, we're here, we're waiting for a while and then people just, hey, I'm here now. That is like the worst. We did just have this happen at the Houston Thanksgiving Day Parade. It was like a whole, just don't do that. Just don't do that. I've been here, I've committed. Don't like weasel in at the last second. And you can, again, you can totally tell where there's available space all right down there. It actually is not better if you're up on the castle. It genuinely is better if you're a little far back. Um, okay, so shows in theaters. Guys, when they say go in and don't stop in the middle, don't stop in the middle. Go in, go all the way to the end of the row. They mean it. Go in, go all the way to the end of the row. If it's like, you can tell there's not a big crowd, you could go like three quarters away, okay? Maybe not even all the way. Go to the end of the row. They will tell you, they will tell you, they will tell you, they will tell you, they will tell you. Go to the end of the row. All right, okay. I feel like this is a lengthy list of like, don't do this. Um, but for real, guys, these are the things that if you can do this, if you can keep your like expectations manageable, keep chill, these are the things that are really gonna make or break your Disney vacation because these are the things that people will absolutely lose their minds over, okay? So here we go, okay? If you are ever in doubt, simply ask a cast member. That's right, you can just ask. Or if you're walking up and you're unsure where the line, ask. That's right, guys, ask. Ask and the answer shall be provided to you if you are unsure of what to do. Smile, be kind, make eye contact, be so nice to the people who are working. Please be nice to the cast members. Put your trash in the trash, okay? These are things that should go without saying. Put your trash in the trash, don't cut in line. Little things like that, but people still are doing them and then people are losing their schniz. So be kind. And if you are confused about technology, go to the blue umbrella. The blue umbrellas will help you. Don't scream at the person who's at the entrance to Peter Pan because you don't know how to use lightning lanes or Genie Plus or any of that. Blue umbrellas, guys. Cast like member services, front city hall. Those are the places with the people with the answers. Okay. Okay. Guys, I think that's it. I hope you found it as helpful, entertaining, or informative. If you did, please scroll down, hit the big red subscribe button, turn on the bell for notifications, give this video a thumbs up, and I hope that you enjoyed this look at Disney Parks etiquette. As always, you can find us down in the comments or over on Instagram at Suitcase Princess. Bye, guys.